I knew that I wanted to do something with chocolate and there's so much that you can do with just this one beautiful raw ingredient. Hi, my name is Aditi Malhotra and I'm the CEO and chocolatier of Tosh Artisan Chocolate. I grew up in a family of three kids. My parents are in the restaurant industry as well as my extended family. So I grew up running around the kitchen of our Indian restaurants, playing in my grandfather's kitchen at his restaurant in Bombay. He's had the same one for about 60 years. When I was growing up, I was not really immersed in the cooking scene per se. I always had a very adventurous palate and it always leaned towards spicy foods, Indian, Indian influences in, um, in whatever I ate or Asian influences. And so I was a pastry chef for a little bit and then the guy that I was working under, my mentor, his name is Piche Ong, he taught me everything I know about pastry arts. He convinced me to go to culinary school. So I went to the French Culinary Institute and then I had an opportunity to go to France where I first got exposed to the sweet side of the industry. But what most people don't know is when I came back here, I was one of four business partners that started a chocolate shop. The chocolate shop was called Christian Vautier Concept. Uh, the French chocolatier that I studied under, he had this brand name already existing in Japan and in France. So me and the three other partners, we thought, you know, let's bring this brand to New York. It might do really well. Three months after that, they decided they didn't want to be in the business anymore. I was 26. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. They left me with, well, we all left each other and like, $400,000 in debt, but because I was the only person that lived in this country, all the paperwork was under my name. So it was either I personally declare bankruptcy and I start over or I take it over. So literally overnight, I came up with the name Tosh. I had a couple of friends that helped me out and uh, it's been my own little baby ever since. And then slowly as the business was transitioning, I realized that none of the chocolates told a story, but I had a big story to tell. And so I started taking my favorite foods or just memories from my childhood and immersing them into my truffles. All the chocolates that I make in-house in my factory, we actually hand paint as well. So. Um, there's a lot of like color and art influence that goes into every single little bite. I also write down notes of, you know, all different spices that come from that particular country or that particular town that I'm in. But every time I go to India, I travel to a new part of the country, whether it's the south of India or the north of India, and I bring back fresh coconut, freshly grown cacao nibs that are grown from India or different types of teas and I infuse them in my truffles. And so you need to constantly be challenging yourself. You need to have thick skin in this business. I had my moment and I think everyone does and it's been a year since I've been completely out of debt and I'm so grateful and so thankful for like that experience because that whole experience, it taught me how to persevere, like I became a stronger woman from that. Tomorrow's a new day, and every new day is a new opportunity for a new beginning, for yourself, for the business, or whatever it may be. We are in the land of opportunities. If you can do anything or make anything of yourself, it will be in New York. If you make yourself happy, that's the number one thing. You can do anything if you're happy.